Today we'll be making the number 10 can rocket stove found on preparedhousewives.com. First you want to collect your supplies. You can find that in the blog post that will be linked in the show notes. Lay everything out in your workspace. Make sure you got some gloves you trust and tin snips that work. Take your marker. Trace a hole in the number 10 can that you're going to cut. Now, the author recommends using a Dremel rotary tool to cut this hole. Uh, I would recommend it as well. It's definitely possible to do with tin snips, as you'll see, but uh, it doesn't come out as nicely uh, as the images on the blog post, and it's a little difficult. Still, you can definitely do it. To make sure you can get your opening can in there. Now you're going to cut the same hole in the interior can. This is going to be your chimney that sits between the outer can and the insulation, or that sits inside the insulation. Same process before. What I did was drill a pilot hole and then use the tin snips from there. In this case, I use a chisel because I couldn't get a good bite with the tin snips in the smaller can. The same process. I open the top of my chimney can. Here I'm creating the flaps that are going to be the platform that you put your cooking implement on and that are also going to hold the top of the stove in place. Got to work those tin snips back and forth to get through the lip of the can. Now we've assembled the basic structure of the stove. Interior can sitting inside the outer can. Going to want to trace a hole for the top of our chimney in the lid of the number 10 can. Put something underneath this lid for when I drill it so it doesn't go into my workstation. And again, open it with the chisel. Obviously, the Dremel would be the better tool here. Sits in there nicely. Covers the space for the insulation, which is the most important part. Now we fill the outer cavity with insulation. This was nicely provided by the blog's author so we could do this project. There you go. Seals up the insulation compartment nicely. Fold a couple of these flaps down to hold that in place. It's a clever design. Here we have our shelf that'll separate the channel for feeding in fuel from the channel where air comes in. Trace the lips, cut a slot for it to slide in. Once you get that seated, bang it home. Crimp 
the edges down. All right, let's take it out. Make my favorite breakfast dish, some scrambled eggs. Despite the fact that you're jamming the fuel down in the can and what seems like it would extinguish it, the rocket stove design keeps uh, air fed. Keeps on rocking. All my fuel's wet, so it's steaming a lot, but it works like a charm. Delicious eggs. Can't beat it. And there you go. Rocket stove. Works beautifully. And here you can see the one I made next to the nice pre-made version. Pre-made one's definitely nicer, so uh, if you're not inclined to DIY, I encourage you to get one from premiumrocketstoves.weebly.com slash products. This has been Oakley with another review for the bugoutbagguide.com. And remember, chance favors the well-prepared.